Hey everyone, it's Presley at ActoGames.com here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Cano Computer Kit. Thank you to Alex and Jonathan who sent us this kit and they also sent us a letter with it. The letter says, Presley, enjoy your can your cano, yeah. Presley, enjoy your cano. We're working to build a new kind of computer, created, self-made, affordable, and accessible. We hope to make coding truly jolly, not just a cold stocking. Please feel free to reach out to us as we welcome any questions and all feedback. We hope you have a holiday season filled with cheer. Alex and Jonathan, co-founders, Cano. So Cano is a Raspberry Pi type computer and you build the computer and they're trying to make coding and building computers like lego like fun like lego and so let's open the box and it says tear it up thank you for the note because that's exactly what i do with boxes all right here we go we got the computer kit and it's really heavy that is heavier than i expected i don't know why i expected it to be lighter than it is but it is pretty pretty heavy so Let's take a look at that, what's inside the other box. Okay, I think we got to the computer, finally. After layers of boxes. We got to this computer box, which looks pretty cool. That is a really cool looking, that is a really cool looking motherboard and the cables go all around the box. I love this packaging. So I got the sticker thing off. I'm going to peek peek in the box. Let's go. Book one, make a computer. Book two, code powers. So this is what you see when you first open the box. And I am loving that keyboard right now. So we're going to make... So it looks like we're going to make a motherboard, a case. And that is going to... And it seems really cool and fun. So we have part of the speaker here, which I know because of my snap circuits kit. That looks like a circuit. The speaker and my snap circuits kit we have um well this is a cool keyboard we also have this touchy thing what is i do not have this on my keyboard i think it's to move around the mouse because we do not have mouse on on this at least we it didn't come with mouse i don't know if we can plug in the mouse eventually so we have some books which tell you what to do interesting Ooh. okay hey i'm judoka your keno companion ready to go take out the pieces Ooh, we get to take out pieces. Also, I've noticed that this thing is orange and black, both the books, whatever these are, um, those the books, what this is. We've got some cool orange and black stuff going on, which are my favorite colors. So let's take out pieces. This is your computer's brain. It is tiny but powerful. To keep it strong and safe, let's make a case. I hope I keep it safe by like putting it on the cable so Grab the sides and line them up, okay? So I believe it goes this way because there are two block things on this side. So the two blocks probably go on there. So we have about lined them up and slide them together, slide them together, click, okay. So let's try sliding these together. Ooh, this is, I am surprised I might have gotten it work. Come on, kit. That was not the kit. Destiny. <gasps> the click of destiny has happened. Okay, so we have the basics of the case. Oh, yes. Now let's give the brain new, cow new powers. Grab the memory card. My memory card. So my memory card is, haha, here's my memory card. Grab the memory card, turn the brain over, and slide it in. This face? Oh, it's like a DS game, okay. I think it goes in this way. Yeah, get in there. Yes, I am slowly building the computer. Awesome, now you have a brain, brain with armor and memory. Let's give it a voice, pick up the speaker, flip it over, oh have we snapped it? I think we have snapped it, we have snapped it, yes, 
plug in the blue cable. Okay, we did it. Amazing, a cool computer that can rock out. Sound is a wave and electricity can be too. Science, yay. Let's connect a screen. Ooh, do we have a screen that would work? I th we might have a screen that would work. So grab the yellow HDMI cable. Find a display or TV with that kind of plug. I believe we have one with that kind of plug. So uh, let's go upstairs and see if we can find one. So we moved upstairs and we've connected the computer to the TV because we needed something with HDMI and none of our monitors have HDMI, but our TV, however, does. So let's move on. So connect the things. Now let's add Wi-Fi. Grab the green dongle and plug it into the USB. Okie dokie. Plug this thing in. We plugged it in. That was successful. With this little piece, you can connect with the world. Now your computer can talk, display, and connect. Let's give it some new ideas. Grab our keyboard. This is a cool keyboard. There's our keyboard. Pick it up, flip it around, and take out the white piece. Okay. What are you? Ah, ha, ha. Plug the piece into your computer. Okay. Press the power button. You can talk to your computer and the computer can talk to you. But first, okay, what do we have to do? We need to bring it to life. Grab the power pieces. Oh my, that is beautiful. That's cool pixel art. Bye. Oh my god, that pixel art. We made it. You made a computer. Now let's give it new powers. Start the setup. So. Okay, start set up. Click. So we're going to get everything set up and then we will see you when it's done. So we successfully got it connected to the internet and right now it is updating. So it's gonna take a few minutes to update and this thing is amazing so far. It's actually updating, it was updating Python which is I was learning Python, Python for Kids, which we have as a book. So I might start reading that again and be able to use the computer that I made to code Python, which would be, and look, play a game that I coded. That would be really cool. So this thing is awesome so far. And I just can't wait until when it's done updating. So the thing is done updating. I am so excited. So it says you have the power. Now let's test your computer's sound and screen. Okay, okay. Oh, yes. Can you hear me play sound? Yes. So I'm going to create a profile and mess around a little bit with this thing to see what it can do and learn a little bit more about it. And I will see you when I am done with that. It's so amazing that this is an actual, real, legitimate computer. And I actually saw Scratch on there, which I love, love Scratch. So I'm definitely gonna mess around with that a lot. So this thing is based off of Raspberry Pi, which is a project whose goal is to give everyone around the world access to a computer. So I'm sure the people at Raspberry Pi are really thrilled about how they're using Raspberry Pi to teach people about computers as well as give them a really inexpensive, cool computer. I might be able to make a scratch project, which I can say, this scratch project was built on a computer that I built with Kano. So I've been playing with this Kano for a couple of days and it just keeps getting better and better. It has really cool make a game and work with a game, like make snake and make pong, and probably the coolest thing, one of at least one of the coolest things this little guy has, make Minecraft is you can use coding to make different things in Minecraft, 
like it, and it's drag and drop coating like scratch like you get a like you get a like set make a tower at this x and y coordinates and make it this big with and then fill it with this block and it's really cool and then there's a code button you hit that button and it shows you the java code of everything which is really amazing and it looks pretty cool and then you can run it and play minecraft with what you have done in the code it is really cool and i absolutely love this thing definitely 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 recommend getting one of these if you can they are really amazing so it has scratch and code academy on it if you want to do more deep coding projects and scratch is where you can use drag and drop blocks yet again like you do in make minecraft and make pong to make projects of your own it has youtube and you can even watch my channel if you want to on your channel and it also has the internet, which is pretty cool. So you can browse the internet on whatever monitor you're using. I'm using the TV, my TV, because that's the only HDMI thing we have. But you can use pretty much any HDMI. You can use any HDMI monitor. So they also come with three pages of stickers. So you can customize your Kano, putting different stickers on it. And I have Harry Potter, a YouTube, and a Minecraft character on mine. So this thing is so, so amazing. Definitely get one. So there will be a link to the website where you can get one of these here and a link in the description for my mobile users. You've only scratched the surface about what this thing can do and there's probably a ton, ton, ton more and we've only showed you a little bit of this surface scratching we've done. So this is only a teensy tiny bit of what this thing can do. And we're going to play around with it more and see all the really, really cool things that it can do. So if you or your kid want to start learning about computers and programming, then this is definitely amazing this would be a really really good Christmas present since Christmas is coming up in the next few weeks we'll try and update this review from time to time as I use this more and learn a lot more about it so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow